It's Catland. Oh my God, there's so much to watch right now. I'm Shanta, and this is my husband, Scott. We foster cats with special needs. Let's meet some cats. Okay. Okay, so who scooted this way? That was... Ariadne. This is Ariadne. Ariadne. Yeah, she was born without hip sockets. Wow. So, I've never seen a cat born without hip sockets. Who is this? That's Arcady. What's going on with Arcady? He was born paralyzed and his hips are deformed and his knees are deformed. So he's, he's a mess, but a very happy mess. Even though neither one of them have use of their back legs, that doesn't stop them from being able to get around and having fun. So the box thing happened when? He was five months. He has a wheelchair, but he First loves the, the box. Yeah. It's like a little hover around, man. He just, he could spin, he could, oh wow, here we go, here we go. The thing that I find so amazing about animals. No self-pity, no awareness of I'm different from anybody else. I am Ariadne, I am Arcady, and get him away, right? I mean, it's inspiring. If your reaction to seeing Ariadne and Arcady is, oh, it's a sad story, you're missing the point. They're happy animals, living a happy life with a happy family. So I, I noticed that they have outfits on. The outfits that I've created, I just pulled fabric out that I had. It's simple, but they work. It's water resistant. Plus it protects their belly. It protects well. them. Look, everyone who knows me knows that I don't like putting animals in clothes. Now, in this case, these guys need this clothing. If it serves a purpose, go with it. So now, we have Ariadne and Arcady, but who was the first that, that came Tegan to Tegan was our first. Oh, she's so adorable. Tell me the story about Tegan. Tegan was um, severely deformed. She had Parasomus alumbus, which is normally found in cattle, and they're almost always stillborn. And she survived 17 weeks. She went from being perfectly fine to gone. Shanta's grief is still strong, but she had the strength to turn that into something very positive. And a lot of people would have just crawled into a hole and possibly never would have adopted another cat. And these guys went completely headlong in the other direction. Doing cats without special needs just isn't our thing anymore. Now it's the special one. One thing that's so crucial about the work that Shanta and Scott are doing is that these cats, if not adopted and fostered by them, would likely have been euthanized. Shanta and Scott, by continuing to adopt and foster cats like Ariadne and Arcady and then raising awareness, these guys are saving a lot of lives.